Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our <clears throat> sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, <coughs> God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly. Gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day... For near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Lo, the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness. Like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house, 
And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Or you say that it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relies and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, he finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There's a lot that we could go over from the gospel today, but it's it's too much. You know, it would take too long. So instead, I, I found that we could easily reflect upon the first reading. It is taken from the Old Testament minor prophet Joel. Uh, the author of Joel wrote and prophesied during the time of uh, the two kingdoms. Uh, he's in Judah, the southern kingdom. And while he's writing, there is a plague that occurs, a plague of locusts. Locusts are throughout the land, and they're eating everything in sight. And the author uh, is reminded of the plagues in Egypt. And he's sitting there and he's thinking to himself uh, how far we have fallen from that time period. Comparing the current condition that he was living in to the time of Egypt and all the great signs and wonders and how the people had come through the desert wilderness experience, how they had settled in the land, and then look at them now. And he comes to a conclusion that we can all agree with because we all know it from experience, is that there are two types of, if we use the word plagues, uh, conditions, storms, whatever you encounter, but there's two struggles, main struggles in life. The struggle that comes from without, the struggle that comes from within. The plague from without or the plague from within. Some of the plagues that we encounter in life, the struggles we encounter, are a result of what comes from here. It's because I said something, I did something. Because I am weak, I have failed. Therefore, the consequences of my actions, I suffer. And until I can get this in order, get as the gospel said, get my own house swept clean through the help of God and the Holy Spirit, then I'll always experience those from the outside, which will sometimes seem to overcome me because they are from me. But then there are the plagues that come from outside. And, you know, that's when we live nowadays, and you'll hear people when they see a natural disaster occur, they'll say, ah, God is punishing people. Uh, we see it with uh, what we, well, heck, what we've lived through. In the last uh, year, almost two years now. You know, people, aha, it's, God's punishing. And we can look at it and say, well, um, is humanity needing repentance? Is humanity, well, do, do we need the tune-up, the come-to-Jesus meeting as a world? Well, obviously, yes, yes. But some might say, well, but uh, I, I did not do this. I wasn't, you know, experimenting. I did not release. 
But that's silly. Because haven't we all in some way contributed to the global atmosphere of sinfulness? Haven't we all done our part, per se, to bring humanity, draw humanity down by the way we act, the way we speak, what we do? So none of us can claim to be fully without blame. We're all at blame. So that's the second plague. That is the plague that comes from without. But, uh, and Joel, the author of Joel is saying, hey, look, there's a plague without its local. But let us convert here so that that can be a reminder to us that we need here, the plague here. That's what we need to work on. Because through confession, being reconciled back with God, through penance and sacrifice, amending our ways, our actions, our lives, then we pray God will relieve us of the locust, the, the plague from without. So that's the way he wants to approach it with the people. I hope that gives you a better understanding. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray to the Lord. Lord, God, yeah. we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God, God, yeah. we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God, yeah. we pray for the repose of the soul of Monsignor Morris Shields, for whom this mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God, yeah. Amen. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Mercy, Mercy God, God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for praise and glory of His name, by our good and good of all His holy church. Accept the Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Our son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our son of the highest. You are indeed... You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until the coming glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress to await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, he take away the sins of the world. sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our Lord, I am not worthy that you should be on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is good, good to those who hope in him. him. To the soul that seeks him. Amen. 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 
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume <coughs> through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in you. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust in the terror, Satan, and all the evil spirits, who wander through this world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. <coughs> Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy and kindly conception. Blessed be the Lord of Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most sacred spouse. Blessed be God, His angels, and His saints. 